Finding reports and templates in Whisper Reporter is quite easy since everything's kept in a database. All we have to do is click on the book with the magnifying glass, which is which will bring up the browse reports window. Within here you would basically have a scroll window where you can scroll up and down and locate reports as well as templates. You'll notice that these column headings identify the inspection date, the inspector, report number, last name, first name of the client, street number, street name of the property that was inspected, and the city. Since everything is in a database, it is indexed by each of these categories. All you have to do is click on street name and you'll notice that all the reports and templates, of course most templates don't have an address or a client associated with them, but the reports will and they will be sorted by that column heading. You can also click it again and it'll be in descending order as compared to ascending order. So you can do that on any of these column heading uh, fields which makes it extremely easy to find stuff as compared to trying to find looking at a folder for a bunch through a bunch of uh, documents or something like that. We also have the filter section at the top up here that will allow you to locate specifically templates, reports that have a balance due, and possibly reports that have not been completed. Uh, and there is a way uh, you can lock a report when you're done with it if you want. Basically that's just going to show you reports that have not been locked. But if I said uh, show me everything that's just got uh, is marked as a template for example, you will now notice that all of the reports that we see are really templates. They're all underlined and n none of the uh, reports that we saw earlier are in there in this list now. They're still in the database. You're just not in this particular window. So it makes it real easy to find templates. You can also look, look at um, which reports use, um, you'll, we'll learn later in a later video how the report view manager works. That's where the actual power behind Whisper Reporter comes into play. Um, all reports and templates have a report view associated with them. You could actually locate here in the find window all of those types of reports and templates by specifying the particular view that's uh, being used by those uh, items, by the, you know, by the uh, reports or templates. So you can look it up by view. You can also look up for those uh, people that have a single instance of Whisper and you've got multiple inspectors being managed in that one desktop or in that one database, you can actually click on the inspector drop down and find all the inspector, all the records that are uh, owned by that one particular inspector. Uh, you'll also notice at the bottom that we have a client details area and the property details uh, and of course that's the information that's relevant to the particular report you happen to be positioned on. And right now we're on a, a template and that just happens to be what it's filled in as. Um, down at the bottom you'll also see that we can delete reports in here. Um, you just highlight something, you can click the delete button and that will allow you to delete it out of the database. You can also lock a, um, a report or a template uh, if you want to make sure it doesn't accidentally get deleted. A good idea, a good reason for locking a template is it's very easy if you're not paying attention to open a template, think that you're in a new report and start filling it out. Then when you get to your next inspection you will realize that you don't have a template anymore. You will have one that's named your template but it will actually have all of your pictures and all your findings for that inspection that you accidentally entered into the template. So for that reason it's always a good idea to come in here um, and for example this template right here if I just highlight it I can lock it. After I lock it you'll notice that it's red to indicate that it's locked and of course unlocking it's just as easy. You can just highlight that click the unlock button. Um, also you may have seen earlier in the other video uh, if you right click here you can lock as well as mark something as a template. So in this browse window there's a multitude of things that can help you locate things. Um, oh and one more thing I didn't uh, tell you is you did see the red that indicates locked. You'll notice that some of these are green. I believe the green indicates that um, there is a balance due on those particular reports which means if you're using an invoice and you're uh, putting amounts that you're charging your customer and we also have the ability to put the payment information in there as well. 
if there turns out to be a balance due, um, you will see that show up in green, I believe. So um, there's some other colors as well. If you look in the user's guide, that is documented in there on what the various colors all are. But um, it's there to help you identify things quickly while you're in the browse window. And that pretty much concludes the um, tutorial for how to find uh, reports and templates. Thanks for watching.